Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michigan Tech Help Show, and in today's video we're going to talk about name brands. There's so many different brands out there these days, and if you look back in your history books, you'll know that once upon a time buying something on brand actually meant something. I don't think it's so much the case anymore. So my question to you guys is, do you buy on name brand alone? Now, I am guilty of this in a lot of ways, um, and in some cases, it's the only choice you have. You know, if you're standing at a store and you've only got two, three options. Uh, the Internet has revolutionized this whole area of buying on brand or not on brand or maybe on brand. Um, but I like to think of a brand as a place to start. For example, if I was going to go and buy a computer today and somebody came to me, so should I buy a, an e-machine? an Asus, or a Dell, or an IBM. Uh, instantly, everything gets tiered in my head, uh, based by brand, just brand alone. Uh, but it's a mistake to stop there, uh, especially with computer hardware. Uh, I think it's the case with anything these days. So many of these companies are merging with each other and buying out other companies and reboxing them and rebranding them that it's really difficult to just say, oh, if it's IBM, it's always good. Uh, in the case of IBM, it is most of the time always good. Kind of depends on where it goes from there. So buying on brand alone, probably not a good idea. So my suggestion for those of you who are hardware shoppers, always buy on review. Well, they have this fancy new technology now with your uh, cell phones, and um, it allows you to scan the hardware and do an instant Google search. Always have your phones with you. Uh, search on Amazon and uh, Newegg in particular for computer hardware and read the reviews. I mean actually read them if it's a high ticket item. If it's a smaller below hundred dollar item you can look at just the star rating and at least get a pretty good idea. You can start with the brand and say man I really love Dell computers. Well Dell doesn't always make amazing computers but Dell does make some great computers. So if we say well the Dell Latitude series Latitude D series which is actually one of my favorite series of laptops. Series is? Series. It's one of my favorite series of laptops. Um, if it's the Latitude D series, then I'm like, yeah, absolutely. But if it's the Latitude E55 series, which is what I have now, hmm, there's probably better options out there for you. But that's what I mean. Is branding's a good place to start. You know, I always wanted to have a Dell. I always wanted to have an IBM. But uh, once you've kind of decided on your brand, make sure you read the reviews after that. So, what do you do? What do you buy on? Do you always buy on brand? You're like, nope, I'm a hardcore IBM guy. Nope, I'm a hardcore uh, Dell guy. Um, I know Apple. People are huge on that. Well, they've established themselves so well as a reputation for making high-quality products, plus they don't release a lot of them, uh, that sometimes people are just like, Apple makes it, I'm buying it. And, and, and that's fine. It just kind of depends on the kind of personality you are. I won't buy a product on brand alone. I will not do it. There's just too much information out there. It's too easy to get to, to get reliable, real-world people who've had their hands on it. I get, like, miniature panic attacks in stores now when I have to decide on something and I don't have a cell signal. I know it sounds weird because I'm dependent on the Internet, but I look at it and it says, yeah, sure, here's a Microsoft webcam and here's a Logitech webcam. To be honest with you, Microsoft didn't make this webcam. They just rebranded it, okay? And in most cases, Logitech did the same thing. But I've had equally good experience with both. It just depends on the product. So which one do I do? Always have to have something other than brand there for me. So if you like this video, thumbs it up. And make sure to leave your comments below. And uh, make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you like this. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. You can also follow the company at PC Michiana. You can also follow us on Facebook. My personal profile is, of course, Craig Chamberlain. And we also have the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. So thanks for stopping by. And stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.